Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a makeup and mani inspired by the holiday, which is Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. This video is sort of gonna be a follow along with me, get ready with me, if you will. So I hope you enjoy. All right, so I've already put on my foundation. Um, let me know in the comments down below if you want me to do my foundation routine. I just didn't want to make this video too, too long since I was doing both my makeup and a mani. So I just skipped over putting on the foundation. But this is what I'm currently using. Miguhara BP Cream for my primer. Hourglass Immaculate Liquid Powder Foundation Mattifying Oil Free in the shade Vanilla for my foundation. Too Faced Cocoa Powder Foundation in the shade Fair over top of that. And then for my concealers, I'm using a mix between the CoverGirl True Blend Fix Sticks in L1234 and L567, just depending on if I need something a little bit lighter or a little bit darker. All right, so <clears throat> to start off the eyes, I went ahead and primed my lid with Urban Decay's Primer Potion in Original. And then I use NYX's Jumbo Eye Pencil in the shade 612 Gold. And I'm going to be using my really, really gorgeous Coastal Scents Fall Festival Palette. I've had this, like, gosh, I think forever and ever and ever. And I use it every fall. And aren't the shades just fabulous? I love them. They're so pretty. And we're going to start off by taking a Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush. And I'm going to go into the top left shade, which is a really nice sort of matte nude. And I'm going to apply that right below the brow and down to the crease. And what this is going to do is it's just going to give me a nice wash of matte and make it a little bit easier for the shadows to blend up into it. All right, next I'm gonna be taking a BH Cosmetics. I think this is just sort of like a medium shadow brush from their classic set, I think the 12 classic set. And I'm going to be going into that really pretty bright orange shade right there. And I'm going to be applying that on the inner third of the eyelid from the corner, not going past the crease. All right, next I'm going to be taking a Coastal Scents BRC SO2 brush, and I'm going to be going into this really nice dark maroon shade. And I'm going to apply that on the outer half of the eye, meeting up with that pretty orange gold. And actually, originally I said the orange gold, just pull it in uh, a third of the way. I think I was wrong. I think it's you go ahead and pull it all the way across halfway. That way you can meet up this maroon shade to it. Can you see how chapped my lips are? It's absolutely horrible. This weather changing. I live in Texas and it's been like jumping hot, cold, hot, cold all week. And I swear my lips are so mad at me. <laughs> All right, next I'm going to be taking a Real Techniques base shadow brush, and I'm going to go into the shade right here, which is a really gorgeous sort of, um, kind of like a, I just realized that these shadows actually do have names for some reason. I don't know why I just blanked out on it. Um, this shade is called Bright Copper, and I think they are sold individually on Coastal Sense website, but right now... This palette is on sale for $6.48. I don't know how long it's going to be on sale, but if you want to buy just these individual shades, you can do that. Um, so anyhow, I'm going to the shade Bright Copper, and I'm going to apply that in the middle of the lid, connecting the two colors up. <clears throat> Alright, now I'm going to be taking a Coastal Sense. I think this is just a medium shadow brush. And I'm going to be going into this dark brown shade here. It's called Cherry Chocolate. And I'm going to apply that on the outer half of the eye from the crease. Very lightly just blending it. And get my bangs out of the way. And up 
towards the eyebrow. Then I'm also going to apply it on the bottom half of my eye. And if it gets a little smudgy and messy, that's okay because we're going to clean it up later. All right, now I'm going to be taking a BH Cosmetics blending brush. I think this is from their Ultimate set. Um, you'll see it up above as usual. And I'm going to go into the shade Light Apricot, which is the end of that first row. And I'm going to apply it above where we applied the cherry. What was it? Cherry chocolate? Yeah, cherry chocolate. To kind of soften the edge. It has just this really sort of light shimmer and I find that it just kind of brightens up the eye a little bit on the outside so it doesn't look quite so dark and smoky. All right now I'm going to go ahead and take what little is left of that bright copper and I'm going to apply that right underneath the middle of my bottom lashes just so it kind of matches up with the top. All right, next I'm gonna be taking, I wanna say this is like a detail brush, maybe a detail concealer brush from Coastal, not Coastal uh, from Real Techniques. Oh wait, has a name on it, detailer brush. Well, there you go, detailer brush. And I'm gonna be going into uh, the shade New Penny, which is right here at the bottom. Just taking a little bit on the brush and I'm going to apply that on the inner corner of the eye, as well as right underneath the bottom third. All right, next I'm gonna take a dome brush from Coastal Scents, and I'm gonna go into the shade American Rose with this really pretty deep red. And I'm going to apply that on the outer third of the crease, kind of pressing it in just to kind of redden up the area a bit so it's not so dark and brown. All right, now I'm going to go back into the same brush that I used for the cherry chocolate and just soften the edge of that red. All right, now it's time for me to curl my lashes. Right, so I've curled my lashes, and what I normally do is I start with a very light base coat of waterproof mascara. I'm going to be using L'Oreal's Miss Manga Voluminous Waterproof in the shade, I think it's blackest black, yeah, blackest black. And what I typically do is I apply a really, really just thin, light coat to the base of my lashes. And what this does is it just, it holds the curl maybe just a little bit better. My lashes are just notorious for straightening out and being difficult, honestly. All right, so now that I've put on my initial base coat of waterproof mascara, I'm gonna go ahead and do my bronzer. I'm going to be using the Park Avenue Princess Bronzer from the, um, oh, I forgot the name, Tarte Rainforest After Dark Colored Clay Eye and Cheek Palette, like I said, called Park Avenue Princess. And this bronzer is available for purchase, I think individual purchase, and I think it's in a few holiday sets as well that Tarte's coming out with. And what I normally do is I pinch my brush. Oh, this brush is the Sculpt and Blush Brush 906 from Starlux. And I start up above my ear because I have fairly high cheekbones. And I just barely blend it in because I'm so pale that using, you know, too much bronzer really cuts into my face and I don't like the way it looks. So that's about as far as I go. All right, then I also take the bronzer and I apply it where my jawline comes up and meets my ear. Because my neck typically tends to be a slightly different color than my face. And this just kind of slenderizes my neck a little bit. Don't do this when your hair is up though, because it's gonna look really weird to have something dark right here and then the back of your neck is really light. Then I also kind of bring it down under my jawbone. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and do a little cleanup underneath my eye. I'm using the True Bend Fix Stick from CoverGirl in L5, 6, and 7. And what I normally do is I apply a swipe from the inner corner and then a swipe from the outer corner and I give that a second to dry and then I just blend it in with my fingertips. 
And then I finish off the cleanup by setting it with my face powder. And I'm using a Coastal Sense, I think this is called the Bionic Flat Top Brush. All right, now I'm gonna go back into my bronzer with a brush, I think this is from Nika K New York, NB006 Eyeshadow Round. And I like to use a little bit of blush to kind of sculpt the tip of my nose. Because my nose tends to look very big, especially in pictures. And then I also put a little bit underneath my bottom lip, and this just gives the illusion of my lips being a little bit bigger. All right, now for my brows, I've already done one brow, as you can see. It's a very, very subtle difference, though. I, I try to keep my brows more natural. I think it looks better on me. Um, I'm using Coastal Scents BRCLC, just a lash comb brush, and I usually just sort of brush my eyebrows up. These, these are my natural brows. Can you see? They're kind of a little non-existent. <laughs> They're not that bad, but I've never plucked them. I've never waxed them. This is just how they are. And I just kind of brush them up since I have smaller eyes. Pulling the eyebrows up just kind of open up my eyes a little bit. And then I'm going to be using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. And I have the shade Taupe. And I usually just kind of fill them in a little bit with little small dashes. All right, then I take the comb end and I just kind of brush it through so it looks really soft and natural. And then I finish the brows by setting it with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put on my main coat of mascara, which is, it's the same mascara, just not the waterproof formula. I find the waterproof formula doesn't volumize as much as the regular formula, so I always start with the waterproof just as a light base coat to keep the curl, and then I'll use my regular mascara on over it. All right, now that I've put on my mascara, I'm going to be using two different eyeliners. The first is Urban Decay's 24-7 Glide on Eye Pencil in West, and the second is in the shade Roach. So I'm going to start with West. It's a nice dark brown, and I'm going to apply it on the outer third of my eye just kind of it's almost like giving me just a nice shadow behind my eyelashes see that's it that's all I need to do with that one and then with roach I'm going to apply it not quite going all the way into my inner corner of the eye just stopping a little shy of it and then pulling it in a little bit over west. This is kind of like no must, no fuss eyeliner. You know, it's not super, you know, crazy eyeliner. Just something to give it a nice kind of smokiness, a nice darkness behind the eyelashes so they look a little bit thicker, a little bit fuller. And then my last eyeliner trick is I'm going to be using Kat Von D's tattoo liner in the shade Trooper. And I'm going to apply a really, really thin line very, very close to the lashes. You know, you're, you're just getting together with probably family, my best guess. And you want something pretty but nothing too glitzy. Nothing too crazy, just something pretty. A pretty fall color, but... You know, you don't want to go into full eyeliner, maybe. And if you want, you could easily just, you know, draw a cat wing over this, and it'd be pretty, too. And then I'm going to lightly just pull it out. So it kind of matches up with my... Well, if I had normal eyelashes, it would match up with it. My eyelashes are crazy and go downward. But... And then I'm going to kind of go back over that line a little bit with roach. All right, now for the rest of the face, I'm going to be using a blush from So Susan. It's the Universal Blush. And I'm going to be using a Coastal Sense BRC N27. I think it's just a powder brush, maybe their blush brush. And apply that, apples of the cheeks, and then lightly sort of up, blending it into my bronzer a little bit. This is actually my first time using this blush and 
I like it. I like it. I think it's really pretty. All right, now for the lips, I would recommend not going with something too dark because let's face it, people, you're going to be eating food. You're going to be eating lots of food. So the best lip to do, in my opinion, is something more neutral or a light pink, but something that if it wears off, it's not going to look as noticeable and crazy and you don't have to worry about touching it up. You're just like, ah, I don't need any more lipstick. So I'm going to be using, let's see, Maybelline's 940 Touchable Taupe Lipstick. And I'm just going to apply a really light coat. And then over that, I'm going to use Revlon's Color Burst Lacquer Balm in the shade 140 Koi. But I'm going to be using a tissue to definitely blot this off because this is, this is much too much. There you go, and that's the end of the makeup tutorial. Now on to the mani. We're gonna start the mani with a base coat. I'm using Nail Text 2 Intensive Therapy. Absolutely love this base coat. It's done wonders for my nails. And I'm just going to apply a coat onto each nail. And then we're just going to let that dry. Next, I'm going to be using the OPI shade Going My Way or Norway for my main base color. Applying a thin to medium coat onto each nail. For me, this polish took about 10-15 minutes for the first coat to dry. And then we're going to go ahead and add a second coat. The second coat took about 15-20 minutes to dry. After that's done, I'm going to go ahead and put on a top coat. This is Sesh Vite Dry Fast Top Coat. Before I do my detailing, I find that it's just a little bit easier to apply my details and designs over top coat. That way, in case I mess up, I can sort of fix it a little bit easier and not be wiping off my base shade. And this polish dries super fast. All right, now I've gone ahead and done my stripe on one nail, and this is what I did to accomplish that. I used these nail stripe striping tape. I just bought them off Amazon. They were Amazon Prime shipping, so whichever was the cheapest. And I applied two strips of the striping tape, making sure to press it down in the ends. And then what I do to make sure that I don't get polish on the rest of my nail is I use just regular scotch tape, apply it on my skin so it takes off some of the stickiness. It's not quite as tacky and it won't ruin my mani. And then I apply that over the rest of the nail. That way all that's left open is just where I'm going to be applying the dark brown polish for the stripe. And then I'll apply again scotch tape on the bottom part of my nail. Anywhere that I'm not going to be applying the dark brown polish. The dark brown shade that I'm going to use is OPI's How Great Is Your Dane from the Nordic Collection. In fact, all these shades are from the Nordic Fall Winter Collection, which I'll be doing a review on them pretty soon, so be sure to stay tuned for that. 
And once I've applied just a single coat of this polish, I'm gonna go ahead and take off the tape. And there you go. Now for the details, I'm gonna be using Can't Afford Not To. And I just dip a few drops onto a piece of foil, that way it doesn't dry quite as quick. I'll be using a Cheeky Brand Nail Art brush. It kind of has a pointed tip. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take the shade, press it down very lightly, and then lightly pull up while dragging it to create a feather. And I'll be doing the same thing with my dog sled as a hybrid. And then thank Glog it's Friday for the last feather. There you have the finished feather design. Next I'm going to be taking the shade OPI with a nice finish. And I'm again using a cheeky nail art brush. This is a sort of flat tip. And I'm going to create a belt buckle with the gold. First drawing a line on the bottom sort of dash I guess you could say right below the brown stripe and then on the side making a square on the other side and then up at the top now for the feather the Indian piece I'm going to be using the gold to create a zigzag pattern across the brown stripe for the headdress And that's it, pretty simple. I'm just gonna apply a top coat to seal in the design and I'm done. And that's the end of my Thanksgiving 2014 makeup and Manny video. I hope everyone has a wonderful holiday. Eat lots of yummy food. I'll see y'all very soon. Happy makeuping. Mwah.